Good morning guys, my name is Crystal. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome all subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, please press the like button, please do subscribe. Today is Thursday morning, another sunny day, another beautiful day. The sun is out and it's lovely. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. And happy birthday to the man who brought roguish charm to both Indiana Jones and Han Solo, Harrison Ford. I tell him how much I love him, but he knows. Alexa, what's the time, please? It's 8.42 a.m. Alexa, what's the date today? Today is Thursday the 13th of July. Alexa, what's the weather like in Rochester? Currently, in Rochester, England, it's 17 degrees Celsius with partly sunny skies. Today, you can expect intermittent clouds with a high of 22 degrees and a low of 13 degrees. And Alexa, can you tell me a joke? Alexa, a joke? Why did the turtle break up with the giraffe? They never saw eye to eye. And Alexa, whose birthday is it today? Today's famous birthdays include American film actor and producer Harrison Ford, Australian professional basketball player Dante Exum, English film, television and stage actor Patrick Stewart, American comedian, actor and physician Ken Jong, and American actor Tom Kenny. Harrison Ford. Alexa, how old is Harrison Ford? Harrison Ford is 81 years old. Alexa, how old is Patrick Stewart? From popularnetwork.com. Patrick Stewart was born on July 13, 1940, and is currently 82 years old. So, if you'd like 80. another answer, just say, Alexa, next. Everybody's getting older, like I said. It's a lovely day today. Unfortunately, I'm not doing anything. Uh, I'm staying at home and I'm walking max like I usually do every day. I live by myself and I've got myself for over 20 years now stuck with an online virtual pest. This pest has asking, been asking me for photos since at least 2008 when I first came down to stay with my parents. One of them tried to blackmail my father for some money or so he told me. When I first came down he said to me Ness because my father called me Ness, my sister called me Ness. He said, Ness, I've had a message from somebody demanding £400 of me for some photographs of you. I said, Dad, the photographs of me are on Facebook, they're on my social media, there's nothing that this person or persons can <coughs> blackmail you with. So he said, so he said, you don't mind if they put photographs of you about? I said, no. I said, I haven't done anything that, that they haven't already seen and other people haven't seen. So I said, no, Dad, let them do it. Don't, don't part with money. Okay, this has been going on for a long, long time. Uh, when the internet first came out, I was... I, I was there was a very nasty individual in there and it's not so much now, I'm older, I'm 54. What comes out now, I couldn't care less. When this happened, I was 34. It was 20 years ago, 20, when the internet was first coming out. So there's nothing they've got that they can blackmail me with. Um, that's why I told my mum as well, I said, if someone's blackmailing you, mum, you, you know, there's nothing they can blackmail you with. Because 
so I said send them to me. I've told my mother that. I said if anyone's like trying to blackmail you for money or something, I said tell me, send them to me. I'll deal with them. They don't frighten me with their aggressive, nasty attitude. Just greedy. Greedy for money. That's what drives people to murder and do bad things. Greed, money motivation. Um, if a partner or someone's got life insurance or they're in debt, putting the screws on someone for money. They, they start off being nice. Oh, oh, hello, how are you today? And then where is it? when they're not getting what they want and they start getting aggressive and show their true personality. No one gets anywhere with me. So, yesterday afternoon I took Max for a walk. I had no post. There was posts for other people on the floor. There was a parcel that had come to the wrong woman on the floor of our block of flats. So I went out in the afternoon, I took Max out for a walk, I'll be completely honest, when you're isolated on your own, you can start to feel miserable. And I was. But I managed to walk Max out on the field, it was, it was still a bit cooler, I had my trousers on, I had my jacket, and I walked around the field and I walked Max, and there was a man with a cap on his head with glasses. Because I would uploaded pictures yesterday to Facebook of me in a purple jacket and, and, and I have my glasses on. And I've also got a, a, a dating profile picture of me in a baseball cap. So there was this guy coming towards me quite podgy with glasses and a baseball cap. And I was feeling pretty shit so I walked out of his way. Um, I didn't say anything. And then... Um, as I was coming back, there was this blonde in a pair of short shorts waving her hair about and I let her go off the field and I just walked off. I'm walking my dog. I'm not going to wear my best clothes on a fucking dirty field where you get mud and shit stuck in your legs and trousers. I, I'm not wearing my best clothes and looking like a whatever you want me to look like on a dirty dog field, am I? I don't dress up to walk my dog. I mean, come on. Who dresses up to walk the dog? If I, if I was going to a dance, I was going to the cinema, I was going out to dinner, I'd put a nice dress on and go out, but not walking around the field with a dog. You get all shit and dirt on you. So she walked off, I walked home, and these parcels were still on the floor. Because remember that this individual that contacts me every morning likes to make me upset, wake me up early in the morning when I'm still tired, and you know, I've got people looking at me as if I'm a thief, and I'm a criminal, and I'm not. I'm just a 54 year old middle aged woman who's lost all her kids, I live on my own. And, and this is the way it's got to be. And I get hassled every day. Every day. Comes back into the building. I'm sat on my sofa. I'm relaxing. It's about half past four. I'm sat down relaxing. And the buzzer goes. The buzzer. The buzzer goes. I thought, oh my God, it's not that takeaway shit again, is it? went to the buzzer, there was a large lady with a pair of glasses on, woman with glasses, nice accent, uh, could you please open the door, please, uh, uh, there is a parcel come to your address by mistake for me, so I let, let, let her in, remember that the phone's buzzers hurt my face and jaw, let her in, she carries her parcel, she, it's a box and she puts it over her head. She puts it on top, like covering her face. She gets, honestly, to God, uh, not, no word of a lie. She gets her box and she puts it in front of her face. 
So she gets the box and she puts it in front of her face like that and she walks away from the door. Right? So that she's got her parcel, no one's taken her parcel, it's been there since this morning, right up until half past four, still there. She rings my buzzer and she says she's number four. Not of this building, she said she was flat four of another building. Comes, I comes back away from the intercom, gets back, sits on the sofa, and I remain cool, calm and collected. I don't get cross, I don't get miserable, and I watch documentaries on YouTube, which I've been watching for a few days now. So I carried on watching those, and I was on my own. I then got contacted later on by a chap on Facebook dating who it looked like he came from the Czech Republic. I couldn't read his name because it was in a foreign writing. A bearded guy, brown bearded guy with brown hair and remember that we've got a scammer. I've been warned of a scam going about but there's a scammer. And he says, please can you give me your WhatsApp number and we can talk over there. And he appeared to be a really nice guy. He was talking to me nice. You're a lovely lady. You're a nice lady. Let's talk over WhatsApp. So before I went out to walk Max in the evening, I talked to this chap on WhatsApp. And it was okay. He sent me a picture of himself. And then I'd had couple of messages off a of flirt finder and I hadn't talked to them over WhatsApp. I just 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 ordinary conversation, nothing rude, nothing nasty, just banter. I went out to take Max for a walk about ten to seven last night and I Sorry, the neighbour's dog is barking. Every time I do a video, the neighbour's dog is barking in the corridor. Just shut the door. It's the neighbour's dog barking. Um, so, basically, I went out with Max, and my dog is a chihuahua, right? A chihuahua? I haven't got a dash hound, it's a chihuahua. I, I'm just stating what happened, right? And if, if it's a white person, I'm going to say it's a white person. If it's an Indian person, I'm going to say it's an Indian person. If, I'm, I, I, if she's black, I'm going to say she's black person. This is just how you have to describe things. It's nothing detrimental or trying to upset anybody. If it's a white woman pushing a baby in a pram, I would say it was a white woman. So it, it's nothing nasty is meant. I'm just describing what happens to me on a daily basis. My mum calls me Janestra, right? I've had people say to me, are you a black lady? I've turned around and said, no, I'm white. The name Janestra is a made up name my mum gave me when I was a child. I went out of this building, I went round the back of the flats, there was a black lady pushing a pram and I walked behind her. The black lady went round the corner with the pram and then another black lady came down the back of the flats with a dash hound. So you had a black woman with a dash hound. Um, Max has a tendency to bark loudly, so I kept him under control, kept him away from the dash hounds because I didn't want Max to start barking and yelling. I keep him away from, from most people. There's some dogs and people that Max will go up to and not bark, but the majority he will, so I don't want any trouble. I keep Max away from people because I don't want him to upset them. I carried walking onto the field and there was a lot of people about of all colours, of all ages. I get onto the field and it's fairly empty. I 
I walk around the field, there's the white guy with the grey hair with his black dog called Rena. He was coming off the field and then other people came onto the field and I just kept Max away and came off the field and I came into to my flat. My mother hadn't rung since quarter past nine yesterday morning and I started to worry about my mum. I did because she's elderly and she's been having problems with her legs and mobility so I started to get worried about my mum but I didn't want I, I don't know what's going in my, on in my mum's life. I don't live with my mum in Chatham and I don't know what's going up on there. So I didn't want to make a situation volatile. If she's got someone in there or someone's causing her grief, I, don't, I didn't want to make the situation worse. So I didn't ring my mother because I knew that Sue goes into my mum's flat at six and if something had happened to my mum, Sue would have either called the police or she would have, she knows, Sue knows where I live. So I knew there could be anything wrong and I thought maybe my mum had gone to bed, had a rest because her, she's been having pains in her legs. <laughs> a bit later on, this guy on Facebook dating starts to get sexual, sexual. He starts sending me rude photographs and that's when I stop speaking to him. I stop speaking to him. It's just been banter. Hello, how are you? You're a nice lady, he says. Uh, can I see you? And meaning he wanted a rude picture. He sent me a rude picture and um, he deleted it afterwards. By the way, he deleted it. And he was trying to put the screws on me, you know, to get rude pictures. Where's yours then? And then he, he was pretending, keeping up this pretense that he was a foreign guy. He was pretending he couldn't speak English. So he was going, come on lady, you're a nice lady. Send me a, send me a picture of you lady. And it was like broken English. Now, first thing this morning... I'm, li I'm lying down, I like to, to rest in the morning. Um, I get woken up but my, by my iPhone pinging four times. And it's not good morning, how are you? Because something could have happened to me overnight, couldn't it? Because I stopped speaking to him about nine o'clock. Something could have happened to me. So it, it doesn't text good morning, how are you, Crystal? Uh, um, ha uh, are you okay? Has anything happened? He texts, he, this is how he texts, so he, it's an English bloke and he's very, very nasty and horrible. Where's my photo then? Where's my photo then? He went, you're fake. Now, that's something that a foreign bloke wouldn't say. So the facade of pretending to be a foreign bloke came off and he showed his true personality. Where's your photo then? You're fake. Can you see how I get treated? That's how blokes treat me. No flowers, no good morning. Where's my dirty photo? And it's not upset me whoever you are either. I'm not upset. I'm not going to go around doing bad things because you're a nasty, evil cow. How do you know it's not a woman? How do you know it's not a nasty bitch? You don't know who or who they are. Where's my photo? Oh, you've got no right to demand photos off of me. pervert woman man i don't know if it's a pervert got a collection of photographs going up spanning 20 years could be someone in their 50s 40s 50s 60s going back 20 years ago <coughs> you're just trapped in your
your flat with a dirty pervert asking for photographs. And the builder started banging this morning because he told me he was a builder. He said he was a builder. A foreign builder. He told me he was a builder. Pressurised, treated like shit, to get dirty photos. Normally I say to them, I mean you're going to a lot of trouble to get some rude photographs, can't you go on a porn site? Why have they got to be of me? Because they've stolen my photographs off of Facebook and they're using my profile pictures probably somewhere. And they're probably being a very nasty, vicious person. And it isn't me. They steal your photographs and they make fake, fake profiles and they do bad things with your identity. And I, you know, you can't stop it unless the police catch them. And they're very vicious and dangerous as well. They're a nasty person. And that's something that I'm not. I'm not nasty. I don't steal. So that woman got her parcel back. And remember, she walked away with her parcel like this over her face. Number four. Number four did. Wherever she was, what number four, I don't know. Big lady with glasses. I'm going to do another video. Then I'm going to take Max for a walk and I'm going to do what I've been doing for the, every day, almost for the three years that I've been living here by myself. See you later. <laughs>